Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex from Not Casuals, and today we're going to be playing Terraria and uh, we'll be showing you how to access hard mode. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is reach the underworld, which is this place, hell if you want, and uh, we need to find a demon carrying a voodoo doll of the guide. So um, this can take a few minutes I guess, so we'll, s we'll skip a bit. Alright, now we found the demon carrying the voodoo doll. You can see he's holding it in his, in his claws. You simply kill it. And you grab the voodoo doll before it falls into the lava. Now I'm not sure why, but when I'm recording in Terraria, I'm having some frame rate issues for some reason. My attack speed is not max anymore. I don't know why. I can run Skyrim in maximum setting, but not this. <laughs> it's funny. Anyways. So yeah, once you have the doll, you simply find a lava pool. Before doing that, I would recommend building some kind of bridge over lava and stuff. I won't do it because I'm too lazy, but and I'm overgeared. But I'll still show you uh, how to kill the wall of flesh. All right, so you simply take the doll and you throw it into lava, and uh, this will spawn the wall of flesh. Uh, you need to kill this guy to reach hard mode. Uh, it can be somewhat hard, I guess, and if you're not geared. And right now, um, like I said, I had FPS issues, so he's not he's moving really slowly for some reason. But um, believe me, whenever you actually spawn him in your game, he will move much faster than this. So, I mean, this annoying frame rate issue is either an advantage at the same time as a I don't know. But anyways, so you just kill him. Uh, you're gonna. Hey, honestly, building uh, roads and bridges above lava will help you a lot if you're not geared enough. Uh, I recommend doing this at least if you're in molten gear or better, because this is not a, an easy fight usually. And you need to kill this big guy. Whoa, just had a leg spike. Leg spike. Wow, I'm falling. And uh, yeah, you need to kill this guy before he reach um, the other end of the world. Or else, whoa, I'm lagging so much. Hmm. Because if you reach the end of the world, well, you will um, die. It's uh, over. I'm lagging too much right now. It's annoying. Alright, he's almost dead. Die already! Alright. And then is all his loot drops into this little box. And it says at the bottom, the ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. So basically this means that you are now in a hard mode. Uh, what will what this will do is basically um, it will uh, spawn new monsters, much stronger monsters. It will spawn... Um, well, it's gonna give you... the boss gave you the Pwn Hammer, which is the only hammer in the game that can um, destroy demon altars. Eventually you will, get, you will get a drill that can do it as well. And when you destroy a demon altar, it will tell you that um, the first time you destroy it is gonna spawn uh, cobalt minerals in the map. The second time you destroy one, it will be mitral ore in the map minerals, and then it will be adamantite ore. Adamantite is red and it's the best, uh, well, somewhat the best armor. Then it will let you craft something even better later on, which we will make videos of. So yeah, I recommend that if you're gonna attempt a wall of flesh in your game and you are only using molten ar molten gear because um, from if you haven't played this patch yet. I recommend bringing maybe one or two friends because it's going to be much easier. Uh, he hits kind of hard if you don't have the proper gear, which if it's the first time you do it, you won't have proper gear unless our friends gave it to you. So yeah, and bring uh, potions and stuff and be prepared. Now for those of you that don't know what a demon altar is, it's those um, little black thingy altar that uh, if you hit with a normal hammer, they're going to do damage to you, like half your health automatically, and that they cannot be destroyed. So. Whenever you find these, you destroy them, and it's going to spawn more minerals, so do it. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. This was Alex from Not Casuals, and if you liked the video, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.